What's good everyone? Welcome back to EMC. Today, I have the very first 992T in all of Taiwan. It's a good friend's car. He lent it to us. The next couple days, I'm gonna be driving it. And yes, it's in Ruby Star. It's not the PTS, but it is a Ruby Star. I just wanna say I'm so excited to be driving the 992T. T stands for touring. It's got historical meaning. Uh, the first T was from 1968 to 1973. And then it made its way back in 2017. Now we got the 992T. And yes, I am wearing the new pink EMC t-shirt. It also comes in a baby blue. I will wear that tomorrow. So go get yours and let's get going. a.m. morning drive because we're going to work. I'm actually filming a new reality show in Taiwan. It's quite cute. It's with kids. Summer camp with the kids. Four to seven year olds. But I am driving this badass Porsche to work and I just wanted to see how it feels. It's uh, kind of nice being in a modern Porsche again. This does remind me of my old 992 GT3. Uh, it is beautiful. Inside, immaculate. It's got really beautiful, um, you know, ruby star dash colors right here. Uh, this is painted, no carbon fiber. As you can see, there's a line right here. It's a little different than the GT3. And it does have the, the razor lever right here, you know, that you can kind of push down. It's kind of cool, I guess. Um, I prefer the uh, stick shift lever. Uh, this car is supposed to come with a manual, but my good friend Thomas, uh, who is a race car driver, by the way, professional race car driver, he decided to opt for the PDK. I think it's because this is his daily and you know, we are in the city. Uh, makes sense. But let's talk about the Carrera T, why it's different, why it's special. Uh, it's lighter weight. It's also got LSD, limited slip differential, also PTV, Porsche torque vectoring system. And this is all standard, okay? This is all standard. Got the three liter twin turbo, I think around 380 horsepower. Pretty much the same thing, but it's just touring, okay? Uh, it's a little bit lighter, a little bit faster, it's more spirited driving. Um, this car is supposed to be very, very limited. It's special, it's, you know, the T. It's not the ST, but it's the T. So we have been in normal mode. Uh, let's see what the reduced weight feels like when we go in sport. Okay, the engine sounds a little better. Let's just go in sport plus just for the fuck of it. All right, guys. All right, let's go. Woo! Oh yeah, it sounds so good. Oh man, this sounds really good. So this car, you know, it's more of a purist car. Uh, I know that Porsche's got so many versions of the Carrera. For this, I guess it's the guys that don't want the GT3 don't want the harshness of the GT3 or the GT3 Touring, but you still want something that's lighter weight, something that's more pure. I, I like he picked out the yellow tachometer, uh, yellow seat belts. It matches really well with everything that's Ruby Star. Um, you know, I've always loved pink, so. And my pink shirt it does match super well. Remember, it's out now, so go get yours. I mean, how good does that sound? Uh, we are going towards Wise Wangxi, so if there's a little twisty, uh, you know, I, I, I will give it a little go. Um, if not, you guys are going to have to wait for tomorrow.
man. So I haven't driven any Porsche in like two months. My 996 is in the shop. I'll give you guys an update on that. Um, just so many little problems, but yeah, we're fixing everything and I'm going to be announcing something brilliant very, very soon. You guys are gonna be amazed for the 996 Turbo RS. And I got a special project coming. Can't tell you much more, but it's special. It's a new project. back day two in the 992t and i'm excited again this is fun going to work 6 a.m another day in the life of sunny wang so i do have an interesting fact for y'all there were supposed to be 10 992ts in taiwan but i don't know if you guys saw in the news from germany there was a ship that caught fire, um, I don't know if it sank or not, sunk, sank. I'm not sure what the right word is, but uh, yeah, a lot of cars were fucked. And now there's only supposed to be only five. And this is why the 992T will be so rare in Taiwan. But I did watch a bunch of other YouTuber reviews and everyone raves about this car. Everyone calls it the Goldilocks of the 992 Carreras. So, I mean, it is, like I said before, it is lightweight. Uh, it's much cheaper, you know, than the GT3 Touring. It's cheaper than the GTS. But when you put the three together, I guess the power to weight ratio, you know, it's pretty good. Um, and right now I, I feel, you know, this car is kind of like the daily of all three. And yeah, of course, I had the 992 GT3. One of the best cars of all time, okay? No denying that. I don't even want to make any other statements. But <sighs> this car is, for the price, it's pretty damn good, you know? Um, it sounds good, and when I put it in Sport Plus, it goes, it's enough. 380 horsepower. 3 liter twin turbo, spools up to like 7,500 RPM. Do you hear that kickback? I mean, that downshift is, is for real. Oh yeah. That sounds so interesting. Did you hear that? It sounds like this, it sounds like there's a whine. Not from the, maybe it is from the turbo, I'm not really sure. When it's really high revving, it's kind of like an electric motor whine or something. Do you hear that, Jason? Yeah, I heard that. You heard that, right? Yeah. I have a feeling Porsche is like trying to get us ready for hybrid cars. <laughs> I know that this is not a hybrid, but I feel like they're making you feel like it's coming. It's coming, people. Get ready for it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I heard that. I don't know why they did that. I did not hear that in the GT3. Um, I would have to drive other 992s, uh, but to be honest, I have not driven many other 992s, but this is the first time hearing that weird electric whine. Anyway, I'm gonna concentrate on driving to where I'm supposed to go to. So, I wanna talk a little bit about the exterior of the car. The front bumper is a tiny bit different than let's say the GTS. 
okay? I know it's entirely different than the GT3, but it does have a bigger mouth, bigger black grills in the front, which I really, really like. It's got this black plastic chin spoiler to protect the little, you know, bumps and scrapes or whatnot. But yeah, the color, oh, it's just so sexy. I know that it's just a tiny, tiny bit different than the 992 GT3 Ruby Star Red that I had in PTS, but it's still not much different, you know, to the naked eye. Oh, so if people are wondering, 56, this is one of the numbers that Thomas really likes. Uh, my friend's son's birthday, 5-6, I think it's May 6th. So it's in honor of his son. So he races in 56. Uh, so he has that badge right there. And then moving around the back. I mean, it's just sleek, it's sexy, and it does have the Carrera T badge. Uh, it's got the dual exhaust within the rear bumper, which I like. Full tail lights, that's what makes the 992 special. Stock wheels, but I'm sure EMC wheels will be going on this. And a lot of people want to ask about the PDK or the manual. Before, it was only manual, okay? The PDK was not an option, but I guess they started to make it an option. So this is something that a lot of the purists, I think, will be like, eh, what the hell's going on? But I can completely understand. I'm a modern sports car driver, okay? I am a purist at heart, but it does not mean I am a purist 100% of the times, okay? I enjoy driving purist cars that have PDK. I know that sounds like blasphemy. I'm sorry, okay? I apologize to all my bigger brother purists out there. However, I understand. And I think Thomas made a great choice. So to end the vlog, I just wanna say the 992T is a reduced weight, super rare version of the 992. It is an amazing car. And if you have the 992T, you are considered super, super lucky. And I am super lucky to have a friend with it. Uh, I got to drive it in the mountain roads. You guys will probably see a little more later on. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I'll see you guys on the next one. And go get your pink and baby blue EMC tees. Peace the F out.